Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Heroes Action Replay. We got the codes back on this time. For we're dealing with Team Dark's final stage in Final <laughs> Fortress. You know, I was really hoping in this series, which, granted, amazing series. I'm glad you were able to bring some of these codes to life. As much as I could. As much as you could. I tried. The one thing I was hoping for was a Team Dark segment that had the codes that early Chaotix levels had, a.k.a. Hi, I'm here. By the way, I win. I don't think it would have worked. I know, but it still would have been funny to be like, all right, here's the harder version of the stage. It's done. Yeah, I can tell you what would have happened if I would have tried it. Hey! Uh, the stuff of nightmares. Hearing your console beg for mercy. Ugh. <laughs> well, um... Yeah, is there anything different with this stage, or is this another, uh... Oh, hey, it's, it's semi-harder. So right after I recorded uh, Team Heroes, you know, portion, what with the stun locks into death and all, all that, and, you know... <laughs> I'm a little frustrated, so, uh, I'm what you would call Dunzo. Oh, Infinite Team Blast? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm Infinite just, Team Blast, I am yeah. just Dunzo. The end is in sight. You know, this didn't turn out quite the way I wanted it to, because... The fucking game is too well designed. <laughs> or something. No, I'd go for that. It's either that, or it's the Sonic Paradox, where... It's made so well that you can't break it. But you, Woo but it can still, <laughs> it can still break, but it just won't crash. There's the, there's the keyword I was looking for. Like Sonic 06. This is also kind of Sega's like first kind of multi-console releases. That probably didn't help. I don't think we talked about that. It came to all three of the major consoles. I am pretty sure it is at least Sonic Team's first multi-platform release. See, let me think. What were the Sonic games before this? Well, you know, you know uh, it was like 2001. Yeah. Dreamcast is dead. Dreamcast, so, yeah. Dreamcast Sega died. loses. They bow out of the of the console market. Yeah. Sonic Adventure Two was the last game made. Yes. Just Dream, Dreamcast. Si uh, Dreamcast dies soon thereafter. They port Sonic Adventure to battle to GameCube. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember that. And they bring Sonic Adventure DX to GameCube. And they do Jet Set Radio Future and Sega GT Rally for Xbox. Okay. One console at a time. And I'm realizing none of that's for PlayStation either. Which one? Uh, uh, none of the games that they made were, were for PlayStation. During that uh, time. I could have sworn the. Uh, I'm, I'm probably missing some, but you know, the, it, those are like the major ones I can think of around that time. Wasn't Sonic the, and Jet Set. Uh, Party collections weren't those for. Uh, right, Mega Collection was for PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2, yeah. Yeah, and they had Mega Collection yeah, Plus. But, but those are like you know built on a calculator compared to you yeah, know, I mean, going go to a. Yeah, console. besides, they're they're old games from the from the Genesis. You can put them on modern consoles easily, right? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. You know, it, it's surprising to me how many people think that port jobs are just, you know, just put it on the console forehead. No! It's not that easy. It's not that easy. <laughs> so, uh, I, I'm, I'm just blazing through this level. I love it. In fact, in fact I think we're done. Yeah, because uh, there's that last... Ah! Here it is. Okay. Yep, right here. All right. Wow. Let's hit this end, blow up the base, and we're done. And soft lock. That's a soft lock, baby! Oh, wait, Chaos Control's still on, isn't it? So, um... No. I am pr pretty sure. No. No, that stop. I have had to push the other self destruct switches in the level before uh, then, so. Oh, I'm, yeah. Like, either I press it up at a weird time and my, my friends were doing it, or I, w I went there and, like, it was, like, in between animations and it fucked up. Or, my initial theory, I need to press the other switches to blow the shit up before we can do that, so, uh, we'll try that. We'll, uh,. Take it a little slower now, yeah? That's a result of a missing flag. I have, we haven't dealt with too many of those in this one. Yeah, a couple here and there. Like, if... Uh, I'm trying to think of it in, like, programming language. If button two... One and two not hit cannot push button three. It could just be, you know... Colon bracket. It might just be, like, empty space where the game just goes... Uh. <laughs> Just uh, stares. It's like, it's like it's like if if bu if button press A, uh, do action A. If action A undoable, do action B. Uh, but button A not pressed, action A done. I'm still loving the uh, the visual imagery of Shadow getting to the last button and then he's just st staring, little mouth agape, little drool going down his chin. It's like, why did the button not work? Why does the button not work? go to 10. Turns out he just needed the power of friendship. Wait, why isn't this working? Oh, do we need to kill this dude? I, I, I think so. Wait, wait. Ow! Alright, maybe there's like a thing to... Alright, there ah, it is. There we uh, go. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Ah! Jesus. Ah! Whoa! 
you ever, do you ever get the feeling that... A actually, no. Let me, let me redact that statement and bring it back with a new question for you. Have any fans ever complained that Sonic was too fast? Yes. Was it Sonic Unleashed? Yes. Okay, cool. Then I'm thinking of the course, exact same complaints. Of course, I'm thinking... That's <laughs> too fast? So Sonic game's too fast? Well, geez, that was the beginning of what the fuck do you people want from Sega? It's just like saying Mario's too fun. It's just like, alright, what do you want? People expect too much from Sega. People expect too much from Sonic. What was your first disappointment with Sonic the Hedgehog? Me personally? You know mine. It was this. Uh, hmm. The, fir the first time I played a Sonic game, I was like, wow, this is not great. This is not great. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episode 1. Hmm. Mainly because, uh, back when I had a lot more time to dedicate to just one game at a time, I, uh, tried to be an achievement hunter. And... Trying to get the last achievement in Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1 was a nightmare! Beat the final boss without taking a hit, and it was glitched. Oh no. As in, the boss could, like, just hit you at the end. Man. And I looked it up, and they said, oh yeah, it, it can totally hit you, you have like a 50-50 shot of it not hitting you, and then it just won't count. I was like, cool, I hate this. Cool, great game. I'm glad they decided to make more. I'm glad they decided to make an Episode 2 that somehow reviewed poorly, like, so much more poorly, because, correct me if I'm wrong, Sonic the Hedgehog 4 was just, like, a remake of 1, right? Oh, no, it was supposed to be, like, you know, the next generation. I know, but it used every level from Sonic the Hedgehog 1, including Green Hill again. Yeah, but it's different! But it also had Tails in it. Yeah, the second one had Tails in it. You know, what, you know what I think happened? I think that they were uh, working on, on Sonic Episode 4 because they're like, Yeah, alright, you know, good, new Sonic game, you know, re 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 reinvigorate the series! Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, this is gonna be great, alright, first first episode's out, we're gonna get to work on the second one, alright, working on it, working on it, and we got reviews, we got uh, feedback from the first one, and they hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Shit! Finish it up, then drop everything! Yeah, that was also a relic of the time in the fact that you had to say Episode 1. That was when games were getting carved up to hell. Ugh. I don't miss it! They're getting carved now. Well, yeah, they're, well, they're just not being finished. And that I also... I, I hate that argument. No, 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 I'm not... I'm speaking about games that are legitimately not done day one patches. Oh, you're... Uh, uh, release it now, fix it later. See, I'm thinking That's like, what I'm talking about. I'm thinking like Battlefield 2047 or whatever that one was. The this, latest Battlefield? This, this new one, yes. Oh, it fucking sucks. Unfinished. Unfinished. Uh, like, legitimately unplayable. I saw uh, I saw a picture. The first uh, the, the first thing was a Call of Duty Warzone. Mm -hmm. Free to play. Okay. Good start. The second one was Halo Infinite. Free, Free multiplayer. Free multiplayer, yes. I, yes. And the third one was Battlefield 2042. 70 bucks, no campaign. <laughs> 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 that is so true, it hurts. And I'm getting all this feedback from my brother-in-law who plays, you know, he plays shooters with his cousin and everything. Uh -huh. And he was like, I'll give this one a shot. A week later, biggest mistake of my life, I got a refund. <laughs> I was like, damn! That's, that is harsh coming from a, an actual shooter fan. Damn. How about you just make a good game, guys? Just get it right the first time. Make a good game? Yeah, don't just shovel it out so you can get infinite money. No, just make a good game. I put the, I put in that special stage code, so now we're about to get the last emerald! Last emerald! Does this mean we're going to get the, uh, the infinitely powerful super big? Please tell me there's a super big. You know, Please. Hey, you want to know a secret there, boyo? Super big. I'm gonna let you know a little secret. What's the secret? I hate Sonic Heroes. Oh. Wait, that's a secret? That's not the secret. Oh, <laughs> so I never- I never- I never finished it. <gasps> I've beat- I've beaten it! You don't know what happens. But I didn't get- oh. I never got this emerald. Oh my god! I never got this emerald, oh and I god. can't get rid of debug mode to- what- you know, there's- there's that, that's- that's funny. Good huh? job. Okay, good, good job, everybody. Good job, good job. So I never beat the last story. Right, you were and telling me- And as of me, this recording, I haven't done it yet. Yeah, you, you were mentioning to me you have to get all seven Chaos Emeralds to actually get the final level. Be seven Chaos Emeralds and 100% done with all four oh, campaigns. That too. I forgot about that. And? 
Well, hopefully we'll have a better time with uh, Egg Empire for uh, Team Dark. Now we have the codes on and everything, we can just uh, fuck around and do whatever. Sorry, I thought you were leading up to something. I haven't played the final level. I was waiting for the comma, but... I've, I've never played this game. <laughs> are, are we actually doing a Let's Play of Sonic Heroes right now? I actually, uh... uh well, what's I, going on? I, 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 I offshored the, the, the uh, recording of this footage to Malaysia, you know? <laughs> this is somebody else's YouTube footage that you were overdubbing right now. Just, cl just clip right through that. He, would, he just does not care. Nope. Neither did the devs. Alright, let's see that power. Now let's get some revenge. Yeah, show me that power. Uh, so Chaos Control is an effect. Oh! It happens when you do a Team Blast for Team Dark. Oh! My guess is that's how uh, the actual replay codes are able to control that. That makes sense. Just the, the actual replay I'm using right now doesn't have that code. Sadly. I got all the codes that worked in the bro in the broken one I had. <laughs> At least the Chaos Control one worked. At least the Chaos Control. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it. It was so much fun to just be like, I hey, I win. But then those stopped working. Damn it. Uh, it, it was. I know it was a bad omen when the when the codes for Chaotix stopped working. I should I should have known then. Oh no. Has any other game fought you this much? I'm trying to go through our entire Let's Play catalog. I, I've, had, I've had games go uh 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 before, uh -uh. like like a Nocturne's gone uh 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 before. Well, that's just because Shin Megami Tensei is what it is. It's it's, it's meant to be mean. Yeah. But I never I never had one just like nope, can't do nothing. Hey, you know that fun thing you want to do? How about no? I've never done this level of experimentation with action re replay before bullshit. either. Bullshit. Yeah. No. That is such bullshit. Yeah, I know. Tell me all the hell about such it. Such bullshit. Tell me all about it. <laughs> How much higher can you get? Good question. Let's see. <laughs> well, he's just going at it. Oh, that, there that, it goes. There's some blinking up there. <gasps> wow! He actually he, followed you! He will lock onto you, no matter where you are, and just go there. He will no-clip yeah. through everything! So does this mean he's gone through barriers? He will go through everything! Oh. Stage is gone. So, so uh, I'm thinking, okay, I saw this happen in Sonic 06. What if I get so far up that I actually despawn him? Despawn him. What if I do that? Will that work? Will that work? Mmm, science. Yes, you gotta love the science. Me being a man of science, of course, this is, this is my favorite thing to do. I think you've stopped going up, though. But here's the problem. Yeah. So he does this, and then he zooms toward me, right? He's never gonna despawn. We're now so far up that he he goes down to where he's supposed to doing is take this, take this, take this, take this, and then he zooms back up, so he is not really losing any altitude. Damn it! Because he's going up with me. It's because of that stupid ass lunge. It's that stupid lunge. I bet if he stayed there, it would have been fine. So theory, if chaos control didn't bork. Do you think it would have worked if you just kept him on the ground, went up so high, and then unleashed Chaos Control, and then he would just disappear? Do you think that would work, in theory? Perhaps. I don't know if a game works like that, though. It's possible he might be the only thing that's... I'm trying to think of the proper word, but basically he's a fixture on this level. There is no way to despawn him, but... Oh, so, well, so I'm this think, might work. So I'm thinking maybe if he stays here when he's at a stage of not going after me... Yeah, yeah. ...then maybe he can be just spawned this way. Okay, that part, that part's gone, that part's gone. Okay. Oh, yep, there goes the stage. He's, he's still there. All right. Where is he going? Ha 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 Firing his fucking missiles, yeah. Yeah, I hate this boss, but I love this song that they got here. Oh, he's right, off screen. I can't, I can't see him now. He's off screen. I can hear him, though. So he's still an entity. Oh, oh there he <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm just fucked. That was a five mile lunge he had to Jesus. do to catch up to you. Oh Doesn't matter God. how far away you are, he will find you. I will always find you. <laughs> he basically just pulled a Liam Neeson. I will find you and I will kill you. The movie sucks, by the way. All three of them? Because I, th I think the general consensus is that the first one is pretty good. It has a merit. Second one is... Well, well this is, this is kind of lame. 
and then you take the lameness and multiply it by 12 for the third one. The third one had the 14 cut jumping over a fence. <laughs> the funniest thing in any action movie. <laughs> but do you know why he actually... So Liam Neeson... Uh, s s small tangent for the... the the cutting yeah, away on the, the 14 cut. cuts. There, uh, I saw one. It was a live action version of GTO. Oh, yeah. Guy, you know, like, our uh, Onizuka is yeah. running over to the. And he runs over this fence. And he jumps over the fence, cuts him going over it, and then it's just him going over it. So, <laughs> so you see his leg go over, cut, and his leg's over, and he's, uh, he's on the other side. Okay. That's about the second worst uh, jumping over the fence cut I've seen. So, Taken three being the first. So uh, apparently Liam Neeson, the only reason he did Taken and did so many movies is because he thought current action heroes were pussies. His own words. No hyperbole. Well, I gotta love how Steven Seagal does his action movies. My dad, he just sits down and he says, Look here, you bastard. I'm not even... I tell I got what I'm looking for. And you're gonna fucking tell me where the coke is, or I'm gonna have to go in and bust into one of your departments. And, and you know halfway through that spiel, a stunt that. double took over. <laughs> oh, that's second. That's second. Yeah, good job. Yeah, all right, good. Good job, we did it. Eggman is defeated. Finally. You know, I still like the imagery of him Mission lunging for you. That's like a horror movie. <laughs> I don't even see him. Where is he? Da 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 da. Trying to think what Sam Raimi movie would Eggman be a part of? Eh, probably Multiverse of Madness. See, this is just a different Eggman. <laughs> what mouth? <laughs> oh wow, he's just like legit dead. Jeez, he he he, he melted. Yeah. Humans always have blood made of mercury, don't they? Uh, I'll tell you when you're older, Shadow. <laughs> Sorry. So, speaking of Shadow... Oh, God. Well, uh, this kind of explains the plot point that they're gonna use for Shadow the Hedgehog. I created a factory of OCs! Now everybody can be Shadow the Hedgehog! This is my original character! Do not steal! Shadow is a robot, and... Oh, never mind. So, th so this line here... Oh. So the game's saying, oh, maybe that means Shadow's alive! I'm thinking, okay, maybe they used a bit of goop that they got from the stratosphere. Yeah. <laughs> As he's coming in, ah. <laughs> I played Mass Effect too. That's what they had to do, basically. <laughs> yeah. We had to rebuild sh uh, Shadow Shepherd. They, they took your body, which is basically like a half-eaten meatloaf at this uh, point. Yeah, exactly. It just, <laughs> oh, we can piece it together, and they, it's they, fine. And they'd spend two years kind of growing you back in one of those uh, Dragon Ball Z, you know, <laughs> Make you feel better fluid tubes, and yes. it's like, oh, hey, <laughs> Don't worry, we but can, no, we can the real together. But no, it's the real shadow, he's really alive, kind of, uh -huh. but, uh, because that's why he has memories and all that. No. Yeah, 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 we'll buy it. I bought stupider things. Uh -huh. Play Metal Gear, for Christ's sake. Play Yakuza, man. <laughs> Yakuza, the game where the, the, uh, <laughs> the castle in Kyoto divides, goes down, and in its place is a golden version of that. Yeah. It's the only alliance saying, look how much fucking money we have. Castle made of gold. That, that's more Sega insanity. I love it. Yes. I like the song that they play, though. It's uh, This Machine by Julian K. I still think that's the, the great equalizer. Like, everybody can come together for world peace when talking about Sonic games. And that the music always, always slaps. I kind of... See, I miss the rock music in Sonic. Me too. I listened to the instrumental music, the instrumental song, uh, It Doesn't Matter, from Sonic Adventure 1. Mm. Sonic's theme. And when it gets to that riff, you know, when it gets to, It doesn't matter now what happens, I will, that, that riff that plays, mm. it sends me, dude. Sends you back to the past. It's 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 like this is Sonic the Hedgehog entirely. This this encapsulates who he is, and that's that's what I attribute to Sonic. Those those kinds of character songs and all that. So no, no matter how how goofy or how bad the gameplay is, you know that Sonic is doing it all in. Yeah, he does nothing. He, like he's gonna he's gonna be mediocre hundred percent of the way. <laughs> that's nostalgia, baby. You, you know, he he just he just gotta gotta really admire him for that. But this is not a good one, no. So I gotta say, um, I think I'm the only one who likes the ending theme to Sonic Unleashed, Endless Possibilities. I like, I like that one. 
Okay, because it was a rock song. I don't like when they started going to like the big orchestral stings. That's it's not Sonic. No, it's not Sonic. And you know, me being the one of the few people who actually like Sonic Colors, the enhanced version oh, wow. changed the opening theme, oh. and it was bullshit. I love that song, and they changed it. They took out the lyrics. Can't wait till we get to Sonic and the Black Knight, because they got crushed forty back for that one. Whoa, 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 <laughs> yeah, whoa, whoa. That's a lot of woes. Ah, uh, Crush Forty is Sonic to me. Jun Sinoe's guitar riffs make the entirety. Mm. If you bring Jun Sinoe back and have him do some rock music for, for the Sonic games, you will get tens everywhere. Everywhere. 15% guaranteed. <laughs> I'll take that gamble. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we put, we put the chips down, we're ready for that 15%. Let's get some tens. So after all this, I mean, can you understand why I like Shadow the Hedgehog a little better? Yeah. Can you, can you understand where I'm coming from? It's like, what is, what is Sonic Heroes? This game gets sevens, and uh, Shadow the Hedgehog gets fives. Ooh, because he has a gun? You ever play the game and stop looking at the box art? Come on! Everyone loves to say, where's that damn fourth Chaos, Chaos Emerald? Emerald? You don't do that from being, from being just, you know, well, whatever. You do that by going all in. Yeah. Yeah. All in! All in, baby! Woo! I still think one of my favorite parts of any Sonic game we've done is the president looking at his picture of Sonic and Shadow <laughs> and just reminiscing. It's just like, oh my god, that's great. I will remember <laughs> you. Will you oh, remember Oh, it's so great. Me? But hey, that's another story done. Yes, we have uh, one more episode left before we get on to the final bits of this game. Woo! Next time on Sonic Heroes Action Replay, it's Team Rose and Team Chaotix. See you then. What goes up must come down. Yeah, my feet don't touch the ground.